Hi beauties. I know what you guys were thinking. So why are you wearing all velvet in the middle of summer? To that I say, it is not the middle of summer. It is the end of summer. And that means that I am officially in fall mode. Being in fall mode, I am stressed about two really huge events. One, my wedding, which I have two months to bring together and I've done very little for. I have a dress and that's about it. It is a small wedding, so it'll happen, but it's just, I'm, I'm freaking out now because it's August and we get married October 13th and it's August 10th, so yes. But the biggest, the biggest concern on my plate at the moment, sounds weird, but yes, is Halloween. Halloween was a lot of fun for me last year. It was really good. You guys know this has not been a good mental health year for me. I kept thinking I was gonna get back into the swing of recording and wanting to record and I haven't, I have not found that spot yet. I'm honestly finding it hard to communicate with anybody, with you guys, with friends, with anything. I just, it's very hard for me to, I don't know. I just am very stagnant right now and I am feeling underwhelmed with myself and with everything in the world. And I just, it, I, it feels a lot of like, I feel pointless and I feel like everything around me is pointless. And that's so bad to say, but Halloween really helped me a lot last year. And so I don't want to let Halloween go and not do it as well as I possibly can. Now, the thing about Halloween last year is I decided to do that like the end of September and I got seven videos, seven costume ideas, seven scripts written, done, filmed in a two week period. It was insane. It was crazy. With the wedding on October 13th, I will not have time to do that. So I've been actively trying to think about what I can do for Halloween so that we can start filming and try and like knock one out basically every weekend until Halloween and then I'm good to go and not stressed about it while I'm also trying to get married. I'm struggling though. I have a lot of costume ideas. I have ideas floating around, but I don't have ideas for stories. So this video is surely a way to show you guys some of the costume ideas I have, kind of give you guys an idea of what maybe I'm thinking for stories. And I need your help to come up with good topics that might be interesting. I am very particular about kind of what I'm looking for. Last year, you guys know I did like the haunted dolls, the haunted Disney stories or tragedies that happen at Disney. I really try and steer clear of like true crime and things like that, just because I don't want it to come off as like disrespectful in any way. I gravitate towards history stuff or things that have historical importance because I was a history major. So yeah, but I also wanted to have that creepy Halloween -y undertone. So while I'm like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I felt like I had really good ideas that matched my costumes last year and I don't feel like I have them this year. So that's why I'm asking you guys to give me help based on what I'm showing you today. So let's jump into it. These are just some costume pieces that either we picked up last year or I, I have um, or I've had. And uh, I thought maybe we could do something cool with it that might create a good story. So of course I've got my wigs behind me. I, and I'm open to ordering more stuff. There's, well, I'll talk about those. There's a couple pieces I think I'm going to order. So I have my blue wig. I have my long black wig. I have this hat. This hat is not, it just sits on my wig stand, but like it is a cute hat. So if you guys have any ideas with a costume I could do with that, sure. And then I picked up this one at the end of Halloween last year. Uh, it's a, kind of a cheap looking wig, but it's really cute. It's very rainbow oriented. I thought there would be some cool things that we could do with it. And I actually have like an old prom dress that's blue. And I thought I could do like a candy princess thing. Um, I don't know the story I would do with that, but I thought it would be really cool if I could do something like that. And I also thought like, if we wanted to make it dark, I could be like really bright colored, like bright, and then do kind of like some like kind of gothic makeup, like candy themed, but like also dark. I don't know. I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. That's why we're here. We're workshopping together. We're going to figure this out. So that's yes. So the candy, the candy princess is like one idea. I did think I have a lot of character stuff, like a lot of like characters from movies and things like that. So I was thinking like, I could do a theme of like all care. I don't know. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. This is a Statue of Liberty costume that I have had since I was like eight. Um, I was kind of a bigger kid. So when I grew up, I actually, I like still fit in this. I found it when we moved in my house, my parents' house. And I took it with me because I thought, especially, I know it's dark, but especially with like what's been going on with the world, I thought doing like a zombie Statue of Liberty might be kind of cool. Don't know what kind of story I would tell with that. Like, I don't know. 
If you guys are new and you don't understand what I'm talking about stories, last year I came up with costumes and while I did my makeup, I told stories that related to the costumes. So I was a doll, like a decaying broken doll. And I told stories about like supposedly real life haunted dolls. Um, I did Madame Leota from the, uh, the Haunted Mansion in Disney. Uh, and with that, I told different haunted Disney stories or, you know, tragedies that have occurred on Disney property. I did that. So though that's what I'm, when I'm saying like, you know, a story, that's what I mean. Like it could be a historical thing. It could be anything, but I feel like there's like a lot, I mean, there's a lot of stuff and you could do really anything with American history. I could do like, supposed conspiracy theories, as long as we don't get too dark, because I don't want to become like the CIA's like people to kill list. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I thought it might be cool to do something with that, especially like I said, with how the world is currently going. So I've had this tutu forever. What we do, Nikki and I always go to Walmart the day after Halloween, we buy all the clearance candy and costumes and decorations. So I bought this like while we were still living in Wilmington. It's just like a cute little like plaid tutu. And I was like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. But then I found, and I know they're kind of, it's kind of a different, like this is more like lumberjack plaid and you know, scarecrows are a little different plaid, but you know what? I, oh, I say that, but that actually matches exact. I just noticed that. This is the first time I've held them up together. Look, so never mind. brilliant idea. So I was thinking I could do like a cute little scarecrow look. That'd be probably a pretty simple one comes with like the little hat and then like a little neck thing. And yeah, but what story do I tell? What what do I tell with that? With the history of scarecrows? I feel like that's not that interesting. So what do I do with it? You know, that's where I'm at. Cause I know when I, when I figure out where I go with it, then I can start looking stuff up and researching it. So yes, but that, I think this will definitely make it into the final cut. Like the, the scarecrow is something that when I, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. So I think, you know, that, that whole, well, that'll, that'll work that together that'll work. So yeah, so ideas about scarecrows, definitely need help with that. I picked up this knockoff Pennywise costume. It's just called Carnival Clown, but it's it's Pennywise. Like, let's look at it, it's Pennywise. Uh, I picked this up uh, also at Walmart last year. It was on sale, it was like 12 bucks. So I was like, hell yeah. Love the idea of it. I did a clown look last year, but obviously I would go for more of the Pennywise clown look this year, but what story? You know, I was thinking maybe I could do something like, like a biography of Stephen King, like a rough rundown of his life. That might be something interesting because obviously my man's has some, he's gotta have something interesting going on to be able to come up with these stories. So, but I don't know, you know, once again, just spitballing. So. Next thing, I don't know if these are gonna be necessary at all, but I've had them for a while and I just figured like, I got Sally and Jack Skellington tights so I could possibly pull something out with that. But those are kind of like backup plans. If you guys have really good ideas with like ways that I can make it cool, obviously I'm open for suggestions, but this is a whole bunch of little pieces. So I'm gonna rapid fire this. These all kind of go together though. So I have skeleton suspenders, skeleton gloves, and this bloody bow tie. We also picked up plastic sickles and I was thinking the Grim Reaper doing something like a like skull type look, Grim Reaper, probably pretty easy to pull off. Think it could be really effing cool. I was thinking like maybe the lore behind like what, like when did we first start seeing the idea of like, the, like, there's always been this concept of death, but like when did we start seeing like the image of the Grim Reaper? Like why did that come up? But once again, if there's anything cooler and I'm also open to legends, things like that. Uh, I know I told like the, the legend of how the jack-o'-lantern came to be last year when I did my pumpkin look. So like anything like that, that's what we're going for. Those kind of things. Something that, is, that something that people want to watch me talk about while I do my makeup, and then they see the look and they're like, "Oh yeah, it relates to it." Also, I have a phantom hair somewhere, and I can feel it. And I, maybe I got it. Nope. I'm just gonna have to, have to suffer. But yeah. So Grim Reaper also probably gonna make final cut. I'm definitely thinking Scarecrow, Pennywise, and Grim Reaper are probably gonna be three of the seven. That's what I'm thinking right now. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I picked these up. They're like little mermaid gloves. Uh, I'd been wanting to back when we used to go to Disney, I'd wanted to cosplay as Ariel anyway. And so I thought maybe like doing a little mermaid look and then doing uh, a story about like mermaids might be cool. But this is the only piece of this costume I have right now. So I'm not fully committed to it because it'd be a lot of ordering stuff. I'm open to ordering stuff. I just haven't fully committed to it. Uh, next thing I have are these black and white tights. And there's this really cute black and white striped dress that I found. 
And I was thinking of doing a Beetlejuice look because I think that'd be really fun. I found like a black and green wig that's really cute. So that would require a lot of ordering, but I'm a little bit more committed to doing that because I really like that concept more so even than Ariel. So that may make it in. It would be some ordering, getting another wig, getting the dress, but like I'm not opposed to it. But what do I, like, what do I, what do I talk about when I'm doing that? This is my issue. It's like, I have ideas, but how to make the ideas into a full video is where I'm like stuck. And because I've been so stagnant this year, it's like, I'm not, my creativity is just not there, which is why I'm relying heavily on you guys. <laughs> found it. I found the hair. Thank God. Okay. Uh, Next, I don't know. It's just this like cheap little like dragon cape thing, but I could do a dragon look, right? Like that could be cool. That could, we could do something with that. The color scheme reminds me of the galaxy makeup I did last year. I feel like we could do something with that, you know, just as an idea. We're looking for seven costumes. So all, all ideas are helpful. I have this tutu as well. Reminded me of Wonder Woman. I don't know. I don't know what else I could do with it. It could maybe work for the dragon. Maybe kind of doesn't really fit the vibe, but whatever. I have these petticoat things. These are mainly just to go under dresses, but I did pick them. I left them at my parents' house when we moved and then I forgot that I left them. So yeah, I've had those for a hot minute though. So, but I can definitely do something with that. All right, next. This is a costume I've had forever, worn it very many times, never done anything with it on camera, but I have this Batgirl costume that I absolutely love. Uh, I got it in college and yeah, super obsessed with it. Love the way it looks. It's just one of my favorite costumes. So I was thinking I could do that. And then I also had this dress, the Suicide Squad Harley dress that Nikki got me when the original Suicide Squad came out and with the next Suicide Squad coming out, like just recently, it might be kind of a fun thing to do. Also, I'm obsessed with Harley, I love her. And I love Margot Robbie as Harley, so I thought it might be fun. And uh, I also have the jacket, I got the jacket to go with it. So I could do like a Harley look and I could also do a Batgirl look, maybe, you know, maybe. Like I feel like a Batgirl look wouldn't be too hard, just paint the bat on the eyes. These are what I'm trying, I'm trying to come up with something, but also, Batgirl, Harley, what stories do I tell? What, what story is there? Where's my story? And then the final thing that I had that I wanted to share with you guys that might give us ideas of like something to do. I just have this really cute jacket. I've had this forever, I found it at Goodwill. Worn it for a bunch of different occasions, but it's like a, it gives me very much like flower child, kind of like hippie-ish vibes. And like, I could probably do something kind of cool with that. So I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of other costume pieces. I, there's a lot that I didn't bother showing you guys. I have a referee outfit. I have a bumblebee outfit. Bumblebee outfit's kind of slutty. I mean, I got all these like on clearance basically. So I just have a bunch of pieces that potentially could be good. If you guys have any suggestions, I also have, I also have regular pieces of clothes that I could make into costume pieces. Like I've got some ball gowns and I've got some dresses and stuff like that. I thought, you know, maybe I could do like a Marilyn Monroe look. I don't know. I don't know. What kind of stories do you guys wanna see? What do you think might be cool based on what I showed you? Um, do you have suggestions of things like maybe I should consider buying or something like that? So I don't know. I'm just, I need as much help as I can get right now. And I kinda wanna do it. I, I would like to be able to start filming soon. Like start, like try and knock out maybe two in August and try and knock out the rest of them in September. Um, which I think is manageable and that way, you know, we film, done filming, they're ready to go, edited. So that way when Halloween comes around, like we're not stressed about it like we were last year because we were literally finishing Halloween right before it posted. So yes, any suggestions, greatly appreciated. I know a lot of you guys have stuck with our channel because you loved Halloween so much last year and I, that means so much to me. I love you guys and I really wanna make it really good and really entertaining for you. So yeah, anything you guys have to say, any input, I'm, I'm really open to any of it. Um, feel free. The best place to, is probably to comment on the video because I read all the comments even if I don't respond. I try, I try, but you guys know I'm just like, like mentally when I go to type out like responses, I get like anxious and then I'm just like, I can't, I don't even know what to say. So that's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm like this. I wish I weren't, um, but that's probably the best place. You can message me on Instagram and Facebook, but I'm really bad about checking those. Like just, I honestly, I got a new phone and I don't even have an Instagram on it. So I have to check my old phone when I check Instagram. So it's just, it's a nightmare. Help me. If you guys have stuck with me for this entire video, God bless. Um, yeah, yes. 
if you're not a member of the Dark Angel family, you might as well be now because you've committed to helping me with Halloween. And yeah, so leave a like on the video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I hope you guys are doing wonderful. You are getting ready for Halloween and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.